Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You're listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. Next week, Friday, September 29, Nia is presenting a bar opening called Richer and Richer. This will be held at Nia's Bar at Grass Pond in the Seaford Town area of Westmoreland. Food and refreshment will be on sale. Admission, <laughs> keep the bartenders bending. That's next week, Friday, September 29, at Nia's Bar at Grass Pond in the Seaford Town area of Westmoreland. Don't miss it. Now, for persons who are trying to contact me, either by Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp, if you call straight or if you call by WhatsApp or by Facebook Messenger, you are not going to get an answer. Don't text me and tell me to call you back either without saying what the issue is is if you text me and you don't get a response in a timely manner please send me another message it's a one-man team and if i was to spend all day taking or making calls or responding to messages truth is i wouldn't have time to research and carry the news that is my core business so if you text me and you don't get a response Text again. It's not like I'm ignoring you. Also, try and understand this. Try and understand this. Not every story that you send to me, I'm going to post. I am the only person who decides what is posted or not. Got it? But remember, please me a big one. If you call any of the numbers or you call me via Facebook, you are not going to get an answer. Send me WhatsApp messages or Facebook Messenger messages and I will respond. If you don't see a response in a timely manner, text again. Alright? Now, in the news today, in this first story, parents, I keep telling you, talk to your children. Talk to your sons. Talk to your daughters. And may I talk about the sons mainly because the law is the law. It's not about what we think. The law is written in black and white. We might say that the law is unfair, but the law is the law. The law states that a female under the age of 16 years old cannot give consent. Did you know that if a male, a boy, aged 13 years old, engaged in intercourse with a girl who is 15 years and 11 months old, even if it's not hold on and take away. That 13 year old boy can be arrested and charged for having sexual intercourse with a girl under the age of 16 years old. That's how it is under the law. And no, under the law, the girl cannot be charged. In the latest incident, a teenage boy who attends the Old Arbor High School in the parish of St. Catherine, he's now facing sexual offense charges he was born on january 4 2007 we are learning that this youngster he was involved in a relationship with a female that female is also a student at the old Arbor high school she'll be celebrating her 16th birthday on november 14. the allegations are that on friday morning june 30. Both teenagers, they met up and them go do it. No condom was used. That girl, that school girl, she's now pregnant. And the rest, like they say, is history. So that 16-year-old boy, he's now facing criminal charges. Parents, let's keep talking to the children, especially the young boys. In this next story... This incident took place Saturday night, September 16, about 11 o'clock. It took place at 
Garlands District in the Springbound Police Area in the parish of St. James. We are learning that a team of police officers, they were on an operation in the area when a guy was seen walking along the roadway. On seeing the police, the guy ran off, but he was chased and held by the police. He was searched and bingo. One black Taurus 9mm pistol with the serial number intact. It was affixed with a magazine containing six rounds of 9mm cartridges were found in the right side of his waistband. As a result, he was arrested and charged by the police. His name is Orlando Palmer. He is 40 years old and he is living in the same Garlands area. Orlando, he will be going to the courts shortly. St. James Police, job well done. In this next story, this one took place yesterday afternoon. Sunday, September 17, shortly after 12 midday. It took place along the Hartford Main Road in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that a man, he is almost 37 years old and he is living in the same Hartford area. He was walking along the Hartford Main Road when a motorcycle rode up with two hoodlums aboard. The Pillian, he pulled a gun and opened gunfire, hitting the man to his right shoulder. They then rode away, making good their escape. The man who was shot, he was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you'll be one of the first to be notified. In the final story for today, and you're going to want to listen to this story to the very end. There is a female. That female shall remain nameless, but she used to live in the parish of Westmoreland. I'm told that she used to live in the Savannah Lamar area. She's a past student of the Petersfield High School. While she was living in Savannah Lamar, we are told that she had a child for a guy. That guy, he was eventually killed by hoodlums. All this time, a close family member of this young lady, who is living in the United States of America had submitted a petition for her. The female she got through and she left to the United States of America. She went to live at a place named Waterbury in the state of Connecticut. Whilst she was in Connecticut, she hooked up with that guy on your screen. His name is Shevano Singh. Shevano is now about 22 years old and we are told that he's from a place named Middlesex in the parish of St. Elizabeth. But he was living at White House in the parish of Westmoreland before he migrated to the United States of America. Shevano and the female, they produced a child. Shortly after she gave birth, the female, she hooked up with that guy on your screen. We are told that she would have known him from the were living in Jamaica. That guy, his name is Denroy Robinson. He is 26 years old and he is from Newell in the parish of St. Elizabeth. Shortly after they hooked up, she got pregnant for Denroy. We are also told that Denroy, he was out of status in the United States of America and he and the female, they got married. The baby was born. So, this female is now the mother of three children. Remember that the first one's father. He was shot and killed by hoodlums in the parish of Westmoreland. Shevano Singh is the father of the second one. And then Roy Robinson, her husband, is the father of the third one. Let me give you a little history about then Roy because by now, you must have figured out that the photo to your left is a mugshot. On Sunday, July 2, 2018, at that time Denroy was about 21 years old, police officers at the Springfield Police Department in the state of Massachusetts, 
they were responding to a domestic dispute. Carl, when they pulled over, then Roy and instructed him to stop. We are told that then Roy, he had an illegal gun in the car and to avoid going to prison for a long time, he decided to make a run for it. He refused the police instructions to come out of the car and he drove away as a police officer tried to get him out of the car. It was said at the time that then Roy, he drove away the car dragging two police officers for about seven feet. Then Roy, he made good his escape and he went back to the state of Connecticut where he was living. On Wednesday, July 5, 2018, then Roy, he was arrested in the state of Connecticut and extradited to the state of Massachusetts where he was charged for two counts of assault and battery with a dangerous weapon among other charges. So remember now, Shevano Singh. He would have gotten a child with the female and she was now with Den Roy who she also had a child with and who she was married to. Shevano, he started carrying P feelings. You know what that means? You don't? Well, Shevano, he started carrying catty feelings. There were threats being sent all along but things came to a head on Thursday evening, May 25. A birthday party was being held for the female in question's mother. That birthday party was being held at the 230 block of Circular Avenue in Waterbury in the state of Connecticut. Both Shevano, the ex-boo who are carry catty feelings, and the current boo, Denroy, they were at the party and we are told that both of them, they were armed with illegal guns. We are told that at minutes after 7 p.m. Both Shevano and Denroy, them kick off. Guns were drawn, but only one of them got to squeeze off. Denroy, he was shot multiple times and Shevano, he made good his escape. Denroy, he was rushed to the St. Mary's Hospital where he was pronounced D.E.A.D. Shevano Singh? He's still on the run and he's wanted for murder. But can you imagine? Can you imagine? That female, her first baby father, he was shot and killed by hoodlums. Her second baby father, he has shot and killed her third baby father and he's now on the run. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend. About Papa News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sing. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Chiba.